What's up, everybody? It's your man, Demi God, coming at you today with another episode for Hustle Castle. Uh, so, quick update. Since the last time you guys saw me, I've acquired some new armor. Um, also, want to say thank you to all of you guys watching, um, showing me some support. It's great to know that you all are behind me. I know a lot of people watching this are in my clan. Um, learning some new stuff and you know there's a few of you out there that are watching this that are that don't even know me that are just finding the video on their own and I would like to just say thank you to all of you you know watching showing your support liking my videos and subbing to the channel so let's go ahead and jump in got some new armor and some new weapons guys look at this new sword I got <sighs> Titan's greatness sword epic um has some critical has some dodge when attacking it has an 18 percent chance of restoring nine percent health in itself uh that's good i love i love that about this it does 1947 for damage that's pretty high attack speed normal Ooh. so also i want to point out that i also got this mage armor now check out this mage armor. 20,000 health. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. Um, we get decent amount of spell power. 5,639 spell power. 931 magic armor, which is also really great. And when taking damage, this armor has a 33% chance of increasing my own magical damage by 65%. Lasts for 10 seconds. That's going to be significant. Uh, the other stuff that I got while y'all were away was this armor. I got the famous Pathfinder equipment for the Archer. Um, increases the dodge by 30%, which is great. I'm um, level 50 for that, and I was able to craft these Oriental Mystery Daggers. Wicked awesome, guys. Uh, level 52 for these. They do 1,987 damage per second with a fast hit rate. Um, and with the archer armor on there, and also, of course, my accessories, uh, we were able to get this player all the way up to 6,000 damage per second. Now, you see here, guys, this will tell you everything that you'll need to know with these, the way that they are. So, damage per second affects the potency of magic weapons abilities. Okay, now, magic armor... Reduces magic damage that you that you take and then critical is a chance of dealing double damage to the target That's another Special one that these archers can get um, Imagine dealing double damage at 6,000 your 12,000 damage. That's a lot um, That would take out one of my mages in one hit uh, Dodge obviously you guys should know what that is a chance of dodging an attack and taking no damage um, so we, like I said, guys, we were able to get him up to 6,000 damage per second. That's a lot considering, you know, my, my tank over here can only do 2,300. Um, however, the health difference and the armor difference is, is big. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Uh, we're going to be doing a level guide. I'm going to be bringing you all 30 levels of cursed land, guys. Um, a lot of you are going to get stuck in here. I know I'm going to get stuck, but that's why we're going to make these videos. We're going to find out what works, what weapons, what setups, um, and maybe, you know, what spells to bring in as well. Um, could be a varial thing. So we're going to do five at a time. Um, if we have time for something else, I'll put something else in, but it looks like we'll be cutting it close. So let's start at the Gate of the Abyss. Alright, so 355,000 attack power. Um, looks like we got two tanks, two mages, and an archer. 40,000 uh, food to attack. That's a lot. Um, so this is going to take some time, guys. This is going to take a lot of effort. Um, so let's see what we got. I was able to breeze through the last set of levels. Uh, with the new armor and stuff that I got, so let's check it out. Ooh. Oh, that skeleton armor, though. 
just got chewed up. I don't think we're going to be able to make it very far, guys. I don't think we're going to make it far at all. Wow. We just got wasted. I also didn't use any spells. But I think I might need to change something up. Let me go take a look at something. Because here's another thing that you guys might not notice. When you're looking at the levels, you can look at what the the enemies have um, for like... Uh, what do you call them? Like effects, you know, powers that they're able to have. So let's go back to the uh, Gate of the Abyss. Let's click on that and let's take a look at some of these guys. So this is a tough melee warrior that forms the basis of the Abors uh, Abyss Lord's enemy. Um, so high survivability, physical damage, melee units. I'm guessing this one's going to be the same. Yep. So let's check out these mages. Let's, let's deals damage to the enemy with the least amount of health. Um, has splash damage. Uh, it's long. So there's really nothing special in this level, guys. It's just very strong. So uh, what I'm thinking is instead of going the archer way, we might uh, take up my tank's armor on here. Uh, let's see. We'll do it on, on this one. I'd like to get, actually, we'll put it on the other one. And we will put... Hmm... either that one or the one I got from the event I'm gonna do the one from the event because of the restore of the health I'm hoping that that might change the pace up a little bit um, so we've got two resurrect weapons I'm not sure if maybe that's that might need to be changed uh, might even need to switch over this archer off the daggers and maybe put it on on a bow so that was a big waste of food, guys. I, I'm going to hurt from that one. 40,000 food just right out the door. Let's try it again. Let's see if that changed anything. I think that the, the tank armor is going to make the difference. Um, should make them have some more survivability. Increase the time that they're in there. This time I'm going to use some spells. I think I'm going to start off with the armor. Oh, wow. We are just taking some massive damage. Let's start with that. Come on, we gotta get this front line. I'll freeze him. Oh, resurrect. Man. I'm just having such a hard time. I can't even get these guys down a quarter of their health. So, I'm thinking that we might have to change some things up. I might have to bring this back. I'm going to have to do this all over again at another episode. Um, I don't think I'm ready for it. So that's a good thing to know, though. So everybody who's watching this video looking into the um, the Cursed Lands, you're not going to want to jump into these levels probably until you've cleared 400,000 for squad power. I'm at 368,000, and... I'm getting squashed. So maybe even just getting that sixth person or who knows, it might change the diff the whole outcome. Well, seeing as how we're not going to be able to do the levels, because clearly we are not strong enough, right? I was able to beat the last level. It's pretty simple. But since we're not able to do that, I guess what we will talk about today is production in your resources um, should be pretty self-explanatory um, when you are trying to produce gold or you're trying to fill up your treasury you're gonna want to use the treasury items um, you know the things with the gold that have this little symbol here those are what you're gonna want to use and to get them higher levels you'll have to train them 
And same thing for the food. You'll want to equip the people in the kitchen with the things that have the apples and the food symbol. That'll help increase the production. Now onto the mana. <clears throat> this has two different um, sets of gear that you can use for the mana. So the first option is, are these speed up things. Um, they happen in the armor and in the weapon slot. Um, these will speed up the crafting of equipment and the crafting um, of upgrading any of spells. If the character that it's equipped it is in the corresponding room that you're trying to speed up. Um, so as of right now, <clears throat> this guy has a speed up percentage of 6.1%, um, which is pretty good. The other options are these, um, these suits right here, which have the mana bubble with the little chemistry stuff. Um, so that's what you'll want to do, and of course you can train those guys up to a higher level so you can equip higher gear. Um, then you want to move on to the, over here at the wood section. Same thing guys, you're going to want to click on them. You see the equipment that has the wood, you want to equip it to them and keep those guys in the corresponding room. You want to get those guys to a higher level, <coughs> excuse me, you put them in a crafting shop brings up their level I got right now I got these two people who are going up to level 11 and it's gonna take nine and a half hours um, so it might get a level or two every day and the maximum that I'm up to right now is only level 20 so that should tell you you're gonna want to keep your highest star dwellers in your living room for more five stars you're gonna to want to get all those five stars that you can fill them all fill every spot that you can in your castle with five stars equally distribute them throughout the rooms later on in the game guys it's important you will get you, you will get hit with a huge roadblock if you do not tackle this task early get your five stars get them set up put them in the rooms they need to be train them up um, because if it gets to a point, you're not going to be able to get them up to level 100 um, for the class that they need to be in. So if they're specifically training for food uh, production, you won't be able to get that guy up to level 100 if he's not a 5 star. So again, the guide is 1 star, they can get up to level 20. 2 stars, they can get up to level 40. 3 stars, level 60. 4 stars, level 80. Five stars is 100. You're going to want every single person in here to be 100. If they're producing mana, they need to be a level 100 in the chemistry. If they're producing food, they need to be level 100 in the kitchen. If they're producing gold, they need to be level 100 in a treasury. Um, they need all that stuff. Same with the lumber in the, in the mill. Um, when you start getting the rock, the iron, I believe is what it is, or one of the two um, same with those you're gonna want to do that as well and it more so with your fighters because you will not get up to the maximum potential without five stars I've got pretty much all of mine I've got this one left one three star left that I need to replace and I'm currently working on that with this person right here She's training in the fighting training room. She's only at level 29, so I've got to get her up like another 20 more levels. Then I can switch them out. But I knew that I had that time. I knew that because I can only get to level 55 right now as my max. And this mage is a three star, so she can get to level 60. So technically I could keep her for a little bit longer if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the time that I have now to get that five star up to where she is past it and then switch them out. Um, that way I won't have to worry about it later on. So we'll have all five star people and that's what you're going to want to do guys. Get, get rid of all your low star people. Anything that's not five star, banish them from the castle. They don't even need to be here. Uh, they're not worthy. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat>
So we've got <clears throat> this armor crafting, and I think I might get what I want from it. I would like to get something to replace this armor here. Because as you can see, <clears throat> 14,000 health is very low considering everybody else is over 20,000. Uh, 14,000 health just doesn't cut it anymore. Um, they're dropping like flies. I mean, you saw how quick I went down in that last level. Alright guys, so <clears throat> I'm going to wrap it up for today. But we will be coming out with some new episodes on the level guides. So again, it'll be five apiece. We'll do all six episodes cover all of the levels um and even the last one the boss of the story so should be pretty interesting so until then guys hustle on and hustle hard peace